Take a little motion, one, two, three. Take a little motion, four, five, six. How are you, great twos? Are you okay? I am fine. I hope you're well. It's your teacher annunciator. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Wow. We did place values. Do you remember? We used bundles of sticks. Do you remember? What did we say the rule for place value is? Rule for place value we said first you must know. Are we talking about the ones and or are we talking about the tens? We said ones are on which side? When I stand like this, the right hand represents the ones. Ones. Then tens. So anytime you're given plus value, you must know where are the ones and where are the tens. We're together. Now, today we want to look at plus value using plus value tins. A tin is just tin. Not something funny or different from the normal tin. A tin can be this one. It can be the cocoa tin. It can be the milo tin. Any tin. Provided it plays the role it's supposed to do. Then what is place value? The place value is the position of a number. What is the position of this number? What is the position of number 4 in the number 84? What is the position of number 3 in the number 13? That is what it means. The position of a number. So we have been told now we want to find place value using place value tins. Now my, I have my tins here. You can see well labeled. This one represents the ones place value. And this one represents the tens place value. And you have said ones is on which side? The right hand side. And tens are on the left hand side. Let me label down there so that you are able to see nicely. These are tens and these are ones. And we said, when you're using the plus value, for example, I've been given the number. My number here is, let's start with that 84. Yes, 84. First, identify the plus value of these different numbers using what? The plus value chart. So what is the plus value of number four? Plus value of number four, yes, Oscar. The plus value of number four is ones. What is the place value of number 8? The place value of number 8 is tens. So, when I now want to use the place value tens, I will have my sticks ready. You can use the straws, you can use the... What else can you use? The normal sticks. Still okay. So, I've been asked to represent these numbers. Now, do you remember what happened? When we are using the bundles of sticks, Tens were represented by bundles of sticks like this. But when you use the place value tens, it is only the single one that represents each number. For example, I've been told to represent four ones. So I have one, two, three, four. I have my four sticks there. Now I've been told to represent eight. What am I supposed to do? Will I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? I tie in a bundle. Am I going to do that? No. I'm just going to use a single a single straw to represent the number. So I'm going to count how many straws? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. So when you've counted the eight sticks, you now know that those eight sticks inside there, they represent the tens. So each stick represents a bundle of stick that is ten sticks. So each straw like this represents ten bundles of sticks. So when you're talking about the place value tens, this is the only single number we use. Then for the ones, it will be the same like that. Now. What if I've been given a number like 3? What if I've been given a number like 3? First, what are we supposed to do? Identify the place value of number 3. And we said 
Anytime you're given a single number, put a zero before that number. Then you draw the place value chart. So these are tens and these are ones. Now, when you come there, still this one represents the tens. Let's use this to represent the tens. And this one to represent the ones. Now, I have my tens here and my ones. This is the tin that will represent the tens and the tin that will represent the ones. Then I look at the board and ask, which number am I supposed to represent using the place value tins? What am I supposed to do? I'm going to use the place value chart. So how many ones are there in number three? There are three ones. So I'll come there and count one, two, three. Is there anything in the tens plus value? Yes. Is there anything in the tens plus value? No. So my tens plus value tin will remain as empty as it was. Now let's try out this one. Let's try out this one. Let's try out number like 68. Rule number one, Janet, rule number one. Using the place value chart, find the place value of those numbers. So, 8 is represented by the 1's place value and 6 is in the 10's place value. So, what will happen? I will pick my straws again from the, my, my tins. Then, how many am I supposed to put in the 1's place value? Always start with the 1's. Always start with the 1's. You don't start with the 10's. And that is the same thing even when you're doing addition. Always start with the ones place value as you come to the tens place value. So we're saying one, we go, two, again, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how many are we going to put in the tens? Plus value. One, two, three, four, five, six. Have you seen that? So we have how many tens? Six tens and eight ones. Are we together? So I want somebody to do this for us. Who is doing this for us? Janet? Janet has said, I'm going to try that. First, what are you supposed to do? You first use the place value chart to represent the number. So this is tens. These are ones. So how many do we have in the ones place value? In the ones place value, how many do you have? Nothing. So are we going to put anything in the ones place value? No. What about in the tens place value? We have three. So we say one, two, three. And we get our answer as three tens and zero ones. Now, this one will be carried home as homework. Can you represent this number on the place value? Using the place value tens. For your case, you will just draw for me the tin. Are we together? Just draw the tin nicely like that and show me how many I say it's supposed to be. We are saying we start with the ones, though this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. So you're gonna draw that for this question, the next question. You're gonna draw that for the next question. You're gonna draw that for the next question so tomorrow when we meet we will go through it and find out how many are represented in the tens place value and make sure you indicate these are tens and these are ones if you just leave them alone i might assume these are tens and these are ones because maybe i'm not sure of which hand should the tens place value be and which hand should be the ones place value be so Make sure you label your tins nicely. Make sure you indicate on your tins. These are 
terms and these are ones for easier identification. Any question up to there? Anybody who feels that teacher, you need to do this, do that, try this. Any question? Are we together? Is that okay? I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you very, very much.